Hello everybody, this is Shadil Qassas, the Head of Science Department at Sharjah American International School, Sharjah Campus. And today we're going to continue with the wonderful features provided by Microsoft Teams 365. Today our main objective is to explore the options of creating assignments, homework, and quizzes. By doing that, first of all, you need to go to the, uh, uh, the group that you have created, so, or the team that you have created. So let's go to this team. And let's say that this is one of your classes. And again, to remind you that the basic options or the key features of any uh, team, uh, there are two key options. One of them is the channel, which is adding your subjects or chapters or topics you're teaching. And the tabs, uh, and the tabs actually are for the applications, files, uh, anything that you're using with your students uh, in the Microsoft team. In order to proceed and create uh, an assignment, homework, or a quiz, first of all, we need to add a tab, which is an assignment. We need to add the application of assignments. And by doing that, we uh, click on plus, which is this sign, add a tab. And then once you add the tab, it uh, directs you to the applications. Click on more apps. So click on more apps and search in here you need to search for assignments and as you can see this is the assignment tool provided by Microsoft 365 by clicking on the assignments this is the assignment experience for classes this is added by or provided by Microsoft Education so before you go and proceed open, before you do that, you need to click on this arrow and you need to add the assignment tab to a team. And as you can see, it is added to the team that we have selected from the very beginning. If you wanted to change that, you can change the name of your channel or the name of the team itself. And then we will click here below, set up a bot. By clicking on this, uh, on setting up, a bot it will add the assignment as an application or a new tab to your dashboard and as you can see now I have a new tab called assignment by clicking on assignments you will be redirected to the assignment app where you can create your quizzes or assignments homework or classwork and once you click on the assignments, as you can see, you have the option of create. So now we are on the assignments tab by clicking on create. Now you have, as you can see, the two options, the quiz or an assessment or assignment. So now we are going to create an assignment by clicking on an assignment. So it will redirect you to the assignments page and now you can provide your students with the, uh, your assignment or homework uh, by, in, by providing uh, the title, let's say homework one, homework one. Uh, you can add a category in here. It could be section one, section two, a title for your subtitle for your uh, assignment. And here you can provide your students with instructions, due dates or a link that helps them to uh, uh, with some materials to assess them during doing this assignment and here you can add resources and this resource or this option you can upload your sheet you can upload your homework resource so uh, so that your students can submit or do their homework so now you have two options you might copy and paste in here writing your instructions in details provide them with a link or you can add a resource in here by link by clicking on this uh, link and then you can upload any kind of resource or any kind of worksheet uh, to your student you can assign some points let's say this this homework is for five points you can also add a rubric and adding a rubric you can add uh, you can assign uh, you can upload your own rubric if you have a uh, already a uh, rubric for your homework or you can uh, add a new rubric so you can 
tell that this is let's say that this is homework one rubric and you can enter the descriptions of the home the description any kind of description related to uh, homework and then the criteria that you are uh, assessing your students against so you have an excellent good fair and poor uh, or you can make them 10 9 8 5 and so on so it depends on the uh, weight of the points is it descriptive is it qualitative or quantitative and then you can describe the criteria of the good excellent fair and poor work and finally you can click attach this is for the rubric so <clears throat> Once we're done, you can assign it to all students or you can choose specific students to give them this assignment. And this will help you in differentiating your assignments. So let's say that you have three levels of academic, uh, academic levels, above level, below level, on level. You can assign different worksheets, different assignments to different students. <laughs> or if you have uh, SEN students, so you can assign a specific homework for them due date is uh, the date you want your students to submit their assignments before so let's say before the 11th or uh, uh, before the 12th so you can choose the date from here and also you can assign a specific time for their assignment finally you can click assign once you click assign this means that you have uh, created your first assignment and uh, your students will receive this on their Microsoft Teams dashboard. So this is the one and you can click on it to check the details, search for specific students and so on. We need to uh, highlight a very important option that your students once they submit their assignments they need to click return so if they didn't click return they will just view the assignment but they are not going to submit it so uh, remind always remind your students to return the assignment the good thing about the Microsoft assignment option is that you can export all the data by uh, or to an Excel sheet so you can track your students who did it, who viewed it, who didn't receive it, or he didn't, who didn't check, check the, the homework. So you can uh, actually uh, evaluate your students work. And also it provides you with wonderful uh, data, uh, kind of data analysis. So it has pie chart and you can also keep track of your students assignments. Now this is uh, the uh, assignment uh, creation now let's explore how can you create a quiz and in order to do that again we are going to click on assignments and once you uh, you are the redirected to the assignment page you will be having the option of creating a quiz So we're going to click again to create and the option is here quiz. Once you create a quiz or once you click on this option, you will be redirected to the forms or for the, the Microsoft forms. And we're going to click in here new form and you'll be redirected to Microsoft forms. Uh, which is an interface that will help you to create a quiz. Once you are redirected to the forms, and as you can see, you have two options in here. And this is really important because in here you have two options, so new form or a new quiz. New form, if you have uh, any kind of surveys, uh, you, can uh, you can use this option. If you want to create a quiz only, so you can, you need to click on new quiz. So the new form is for uh, the surveys and new quiz or is for quizzes. Click on new quiz and as you can see, it has basic options, the untitled quiz, I need to give it a title, so I, I click in here, quiz, the 
say four and I can add a picture from here and this picture you can upload it or you can search for anything related to your quiz let's say that I am searching for a quiz image you can add it and simply it can add the image to your quiz it's really nice especially if you are searching for any kind of uh, diagrams images that you need your students to describe uh, to explain to uh, discuss so it is really easy to search for images online or the other option is to upload your images so you need to prepare them ahead of time in order to have them ready to be uploaded once the image is uploaded you can add a description uh, of your quiz if you wanted to proceed to adding questions you just click on add new and in here you have many options you have multiple choices you have text rating is for again for surveys and you have here more so you can add more you can upload a file you can uh, do uh, you can add new section there are a lot of options that you can use in here so let's say that I'm going to add a multiple choice question so let's say that uh, the question is uh, the charge of the electron is and I have two options in here maybe negative or positive if I wanted another option I can add another option from here and then before you go you need to say or to mention which one is correct so electrons are actually negative so this is the right answer and then if you have a multiple choices question and you have many answers or many right correct answers you can have multiple answers in here you can then assign a point for this uh, question let's say three points and then you can proceed to add another question multiple choices question Again, the charge of proton is, and again, negative, negative, and positive. And this is my right answer three points. If I wanted to add another short answer questions, so describe. Dalton model for example anything Dalton's model of the atom and then the answer will be written in here you can give it another point and then finally you're done with your quiz you can finally click here preview in order to preview your uh, quiz and then you can view it how it will look like from a computer or from a mobile this is a wonderful feature of microsoft forms so that you can see how your quiz will look like on different interfaces once you're done and everything is fine you can click back here and now you can share your quiz you can do that by clicking share and you have a lot of ways to share your uh, uh, quiz with your students so you can copy the link which is here and then sending the link to your students you can get the link from here you can also use it as uh, a scanning uh, a scanning option so they can scan the, the 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 bar in here and then they will be redirected to the quiz itself there is also another option uh, where you can assign this quiz to your classroom so in order to do that we need to leave this this page and then you will go to Microsoft Teams and then again you will go to your assignments in here so you go to assignments
then you can go to create and then assignment and finally you can write that this is quiz four and you can give the instructions in here by copying the link of your assignment or your quiz so you need to click on this option which is the link and then paste your link and once you assign it to your students it will appear as an assignment so they click on the assignment which is a quiz and then they can solve it and return it so if you want to have an online session with your students you go and create go to one of your created teams and these are the options in here you can uh, change the format of your uh, writings you can choose to attach any kind of files you can send anything any stickers but if you wanted to have an online session a live session with your students you can click on meet now and once you click on meet now these are the options let's say that I'm going to discuss section 1 chapter 1 mechanics this is my title and then you can switch your camera on or off before doing anything because you didn't launch the, 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 the you're not going to launch the, the session unless you click meet now so you can click it on click it off turn it on turn it off I mean the camera and then you can click on meet now so you you're you're going to invite the members of the group to join your classroom so they are going to click join and then they are going to be in one cl online classroom with you uh, this is if you wanted to mute the microphone uh, this is also to switch on or off the camera and this is a very important option which is you're going to share any kind of uh, uh, materials with your students so if you have a PowerPoint presentation if you have anything you're going to share them using this option which is share if you wanted to use a white board so you can write anything with your students you can do that in here using the Microsoft using the Microsoft white board so I can do that using the Microsoft white board in here. So by now you can uh, uh, hide participants, you can show the participants. You can, once you're done, uh, you can hang up the session and finally you end your uh, online session. If you wanted to show conversations also you can click on this option in here you have also more options so you can uh, uh, enter full screen you can start uh, a video using another option like blur you can turn on the live captions so whatever you say it is going to be captioned uh, in English uh, while your session is on there are a lot of wonderful options um, using the meet now facility so by now you can hang up the online session and you can dismiss your online class so by now we covered three main objectives we created an assignment we created a quiz and we assigned the quiz to our students and finally we used the uh, meet now option in order to create an online session with your students i really hope that this uh, video was informative and beneficial please if you have any questions you can post them as a comment to this video this was shadal qassas from sharjah american international school sharjah campus and thank you